Hello everyone, I'm Ji Yun and working at Incheon National University. First of all, thank you for inviting me to Ocean Negative Emission Technology Session and giving me the opportunity to talk about ion fertilization. This presentation will focus on the past, present, future of ocean ion fertilization experiment. Then I will start with the background. As you know, since the Industrial Revolution, atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration have increased rapidly to more than 400 ppm, and it led to global warming and ocean acidification. Accordingly, the IPCC special report in 2018 released that limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius compared with 2 degrees uh, Celsius would reduce challenging impact on ecosystem. So various ideas and approaches have been proposed to uh, remove the greenhouse gases from the atmosphere, such as carbon capture storage, reforestation, and ocean uh, fertilization. One of the most attractive methods among the proposed approaches is ocean ion fertilization, which targets the drawdown of atmospheric carbon dioxide by ion addition to stimulate oceanic carbon sequestration through the biological pump. The biological pump is the set of a process whereby organic matter produced uh, by phytoplankton during photosynthesis in the surface world is quickly transported below the winter mixed layer depths to deep layer. Here, ion acts as an essential micronutrient to stimulate the uptake of macronutrients for phytoplankton growth. The subarctic, North Pacific, Equatorial Pacific, Southern Ocean are known as high nutrient and low chlorophyll region, that is, uh, H and region. In these regions, Phytoplankton cannot completely utilize the available macronutrient for photosynthesis due to a lack of iron. Therefore, Martin hypothesized that ocean iron fertilization could increase phytoplankton growth and eventually reduce uh, atmospheric carbon dioxide through the increased biological pump. To test Martin hypothesis, 13 artificial ocean ion fertilization experiments have been performed since 1990 in HNRC region. The twice in the equatorial Pacific, the three times in the subarctic North Pacific, and seven times in the Southern Ocean. Exceptionally, a fifth experiment was conducted in the subtropical North Atlantic, known to be a low nutrient and low chlorophyll region. The first YP experiment, ion ES1, was conducted in 1993. The last YP experiment, RAPEX, performed in 2009. In this talk, I will provide a thorough overview of previous artificial YP experiment, the discussion of YP related uh, core unanswered question, and consideration for the design of a future artificial YP experiment. Then we will move on to overview of previous artificial YP experiment. This figure showed the initial condition prior to ion addition. Upper panel showed the nitrate silicate concentration, and lower panel showed the chlorophyll concentration and FB FPM ratio. All experiments were carried out in worlds below 0.2 nanomole background ion concentration. The nitrate concentration were mostly above uh, 10 micromole. Chlorophyll A concentration showed rel relatively uh, low levels below 1 milligram per cubic meter, confirming H energy region. FB FM ratio, which is photochemical uh, efficiency, is particularly sensitive to ion stress. Initial conditions showed uh, low FB FPM ratio, less than uh, 0.3 values, indicating that all experiments were conducted in ion stressed condition. The silicate concentration were widely ranged from um, 1 micromole to 60 micromole to investigate the core limitation of ion and silicate. These programs show uh, ion addition procedure. Here, ion sulfate bag. The funnel used to pour iron and hydrochloric acid. The tank system used from uh, mixing iron 
hydrochloric acid and zero. Uh, ion fertilization has been conducted by releasing uh, dissolved ion sulfate into the propeller wash over a moving ship. The target ion concentration within the mixed layer depths range between one and four nanomer. The ion EX1 showed a rapid decrease in ion concentration from 3.6 to 0.25 nanomer for days uh, after ion addition. Uh, due to horizontal dispersing and rapid incorporating into particle. So except, uh, except for the two experiments, ion EX1 and Z1, the previous wipe experiment have involved multiple small ion injection to the surface water. To trace the ion fertilized patch, uh, wipe experiment have used a combination of physical and biogeochemical tracer. To determine the effectiveness of a wipe experiment, we confirm the response to ion addition, uh, particulate variables, nutrient, FB, FM ratio, chlorophyll, diatom, primer productivity, and carbon export. Carbon dioxide variables and nutrient show the substantial drawdown following ion addition. Here, seed one experiment had the large delta nitrate concentration. Following the carbon uptake and nitrate uptake after ion addition, uh, the FB FM ratio, chlorophyll, diatom biomass, and primer productivity showed a significant increase compared to the initial values. Here, ion ES2 delta primer productivity was highest over uh, all experiments. The stage one experiment also showed the massive ion uh, induced phytoplankton bloom. Then, to determine whether the biological pump is enhanced after ion addition, expert flux of particulate organic carbon was estimated using a chemical tracer, uh, natural radio tracer theorem uh, 234. This figure showed the change in expert flux during IFEX and SWARI conducted in the southern ocean. Um, here is IFEX and here is the SWARI. Uh, during IFEX experiment, you can see the significant increase in carbon export uh, in the uh, ion uh, fertilized patch 30 days after ion addition. However, during SWARI experiment, there was no uh, measurable change in uh, carbon export. Previous wipe experiments have demonstrated that primal productivity can be significantly enhanced uh, by ion addition. However, IFEX was the only artificial wipe experiment that produced significant carbon export to deep layers. These different export flux might have resulted from various environment conditions. So to detect significant carbon export uh, below the winter mixed layer that's following on uh, increase uh, in prime productivity, three conditions are necessary. A shift to a diatom dominant community, low bacterial respiration, and sufficient experimental duration. The diatom dominant bloom occurred under high silicate concentration and low copepod biomass. Most wipe experiments showed uh, diatom dominant bloom under high silicate concentration. However, even under the high silicate concentration, C2 experiment did not show diatom dominant bloom due to the heavy grazing pressure. So induced uh, diatom dominant bloom, high silicate concentration, and low grazing pressure are necessary. In series experiment, there was a uh, this increase on its POC expert flux within the mixed layer depth, but there was no increase in carbon expert flux below the mixed layer depth due to rapid remineralization by increased bacterial respiration. So low bacterial respiration condition is necessary. As I, as I said earlier, IFEX experiment showed increase in POC flux between day uh, 28 and 32. 
This figure showed the chlorophyll A concentration during previous YP experiment. IFX experiment to observe entire cycle development decline fate of uh, the ion induced phytoplankton blue. However, the SOARI experiment was conducted during only 13 days. Therefore, uh, necessary condition to detect significant carbon export are uh, dieton dominated community, low bacterial respiration, uh, and sufficient experimental duration. The impact on the net transfer of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to uh, below the winter mixed layer depth through the biological pump is not yet fully understood or uh, quantified and appears to verify uh, with, uh, uh, appears to vary with expert flux measurement techniques and possible side effects. So we will move on to uh, this question about unanswered YP core question. First question is, so which of the method are optimal for tracking and quantifying our carbon export flux? The traditional and direct method for estimating fish flux, flux in the water column is a sediment trap that collects sinking uh, particles. However, Although they are designed to ensure the collection of a sinking particle, they have accuracy issues such as uh, the inference of a hydrodynamic flow across the trap, inclusion of a duplanketon capable of a vertical migration, and loss of a trapped particle by dissolution during deployment. To resolve these biases, a uh, neutrally buoyant sediment trap, MBST, was developed. This method could, could redu reduce horizontal flow and inclusion of geoplankton. Also, to fully scan the vertical profile of expert flux, additional techniques with a high depth resolution throughout the water column are needed. IFEX and the LOAPEX experiment in the Southern Ocean provide a uh, high resolution observation of fish flux using underwater video profiler and transmission. Therefore, to detect effectively POC to ion addition, the combination of multiple approaches is needed by deploying MBST, MBST system at two depths below both in each two uh, mixed layer depths and winter mixed layer depths and high resolution profiling system. The second question is which of the possible side effects have negative effects on OIP effectiveness? Also, it is important to consider the possible negative consequence of artificial OIP to, uh, to evaluate whether the artificial OIP experiments are effective. Artificial wipe experiment can induce the climate relevant gases emissions and the ocean ecosystem chains. Particularly among the climate relevant gases, nitroxide has a global warming potential about uh, 300 times greater than uh, carbon dioxide. The left panel showed the change in nitroxide during Swari experiment. The right panel showed the nitroxide change during IFEX ex experiment. You can see the clear nitroxide uh, increase in ion fertilizer patch during story experiment, but no significant uh, difference between outside patch and inside patch during IFEX experiment. Based on the result of a previous study, Direct and indirect environment side effect remain uh, largely unreserved due to the inconsistent and uh, highly uncertain outcomes of the experiment conducted so far. Therefore, there continues to be a need to quantitatively determine the effectiveness of artificial wipe as a long term means for reducing atmospheric carbon dioxide throughout the quantification of artificial or wipe side effects. Then what are the international artificial wipe experimentation uh, rules? In October 2013, 
uh, the Rondo Commission and Rondo Protocol parties adopted amendment that categorize artificial wipe as a, uh, marine geoengineering, prohibiting operational artificial wipe experiment, but enabling artificial wipe scientific research that meets the permit condition through the environmental assessment framework. Under LCRP, commercial artificial YF cannot proceed because of the large uncertainty related to uh, large scale YF. This framework demands preliminary scientific uh, research prior to any artificial YF experimentation. There must be undertaken using parameters such as problem formulation, size selection, exposure, and risk management. The monitoring is also required. The process of acquiring permissions uh, for an artificial wipe experiment, experiment from the LCRP is a multi basis uh, enterprise involving not only ecology and biogeochemistry, but also uh, social science and ocean governance. Lastly, we are going to move a cons uh, move we are going to look at consideration for the design of a future artificial YF experiment to maximize the effectiveness of YF experiment, focusing on the location, timing, duration. As I said in the overview of a previous YF experiment part, artificial YF experiment should be conducted on the high silicate concentration and uh, low rising pressure condition to induce the iatom dominate community. Uh, particularly, the subarctic North Pacific and the uh, south of the Southern Ocean polar front to show the high silicate concentration. As any structure enable us to distinguish the ion fertilized patch from the uh, surrounding unfertilized waters. Uh, and to observe efficiently ion induced change. Uh, YP experiment should be conducted in the center of an eddy structure. The timing is the early, is the early summer in the case of uh, the Southern Ocean when grazing pressure is low and silicate levels are high. The shipboard observation should be made during a uh, minimum the 30 days to cover the full response time from phytoplankton onset to uh, termination. Also, we should consider the future wipe design focusing on the mode of uh, ion addition, tracing method and measurement parameters, and side effects on marine ocean ecosystem. The ion addition should be conducted with a multiple ion addition and intervals over 10 to uh, 15 days to obtain a uh, two nanomer concentration. To trace ion induced change, we should use both physical and the biogeochemical tracer, especially buoys, uh, SF6 and the FVFM ratio. To trace the expert flux, MBST system should be employed at two depths just below uh, the institute mixed layer depths and uh, at the winter mixed layer depths with the autonomous uh, profile equipped with a transmissometer. And finally, under international artificial wipe regulation, side effect on ocean ecosystem and production of climate relevant uh, gases should be monitored using optical uh, sensory to autonomous world profilers and ventic vehicle. Uh, this is end of my presentation. If you have any question, please feel free to contact me. Thank you for listening.